Hi friends, welcome on board for another project. This time I decided to design this non-isolated AC to DC converter board. It is actually a high voltage buck converter. Here is the AC input in the range of 85 to 260 volts and this is the DC output 12 volts and 200 milliamps maximum continuous. This is the first revision of the board. In the latest revision, which is available for you to download, I have added a creepage area here between these two pins in the middle pin on the PCB. And I have added another pin here because you will mount this vertically on your main board and the connection should be strong to tolerate some vibration and shocks and etc. So you can download this PCB for free. To do this, uh, just follow this link and register on the Altium 365 cloud space. Then follow this link and download this PCB project for free. Here is the PCB board. You can see the quality. This is the backside. Actually, I sent the Gerbers to PCBX company and here is the results. And I can say the quality is pretty nice. The print, silk screen, and everything, solder max and whatever. Let me explain the board. In the next step, I will go through the schematic and PCB on the Altium 365 and explain everything in details. Here is the AC input, fuse, bridge rectifier. Here is the Pi filter or CLC filter. This is the high voltage buck converter chip. This is the fast diode, and this inductor builds a buck converter circuit and uh, by calculation of these two feedback resistors I now I can get 12 volts at the output and these two capacitors to stabilize and reduce the noise of the output and this LED shows the shows the proper output voltage indicates the proper output voltage here is the backside almost a solid ground plane except for this small track so pretty much that's it let's go to the next step and i will ex explain the schematic and pcb all right here is my altium 365 cloud space if i show you from the menu i have created this my vanitar space and i have uploaded these four projects so far and the rest belong to the altium as a sample as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you can download all of these projects for free. First, you should register on the Altium 365 space. Just follow this link in my YouTube video description. Also, you can have your own space the same as me. Then to download the project, just follow this link and download the project for free. Anyway, here is the latest one. If I double click on this project, it will open the PCB project document. This one is a schematic document. This one is a PCB layout. And this one is the 3D view of the PCB board. So let me explain the schematic. Here is the input connector. Here is the connector is a pin header. It comes through this 500 milliamps SMD fuse. This is the bridge rectifier and this is a CLC or Pi filter for noise and ripple reduction and the value for this inductor is 1 millihenry. Then the voltage come through this line to this high voltage buck converter. The part number is AL1750. These two, I mean R2 and R3 resistors are feedback resistors and define the output voltage. So if you don't like 12 volts, you can change the value of these two resistors and change the output voltage. I will explain in the article how you can calculate the value, the values of these two resistors and also define the output current of the converter. These components belong to the buck converter circuit and be careful about D2. D2 is not an ordinary diode. It is a very fast diode. I think the recovery time of this diode is around 35 nanoseconds or so. L2 is a 1 millihenry SMD inductor. 
and C6 and C7 are output capacitors for noise reduction and R4 is a dummy is a dummy is a small dummy load to stabilize the output and D3 is an LED to indicate that the output voltage is at a proper level so the out is a is the output pin header the 12 volt output let's go to the PCB so as I said I have created a creepage area between these two pins and you will put the same creepage on your own PCB in the on the main board for the middle pin of the pin header so you will have a creepage on the middle pin on your own board as well so here is the fuse bridge rectifier and I I have put two polygons however the top polygon has not covered this area because this area contain high voltage so I kept away the polygon from this area and it covers here and here if I show you the bottom layer so I disable the top and top overlay and here is the bottom layer and almost a solid ground plane except for this track and I have a stitch I can the word is stitch <laughs> or connected the top and bottom layers using these many vias to reduce the length of the ground path and also to reduce the impedance both the length and impedance of the ground path this helps to reduce the output noise and stabilize the converter you can follow the same procedure on your own PCB design and these areas because these areas might, might contain high current and high ripple uh, currents I have not implemented these two areas using tracks I have put copper planes instead of tracks for these areas and these components uh, I have put these components as close as possible to each other anyway let's go to the 3d view and you can see the creepage area and the output as a 3 pin pin header to make a stronger connection to your main board I think I covered all of the points as you can see this is a compact board and you can use it on your own projects just order the PCB and have fun all right I have prepared this basic test setup using this DC load and later on I will measure the temperature of the board using this thermal imaging camera because to sense the to sense the temperature of the components you cannot directly touch the components using your hand because this circuit is directly connected to the mains and touching the components is suicide anyway here is the AC input it comes from an isolation transformer because otherwise I would not be able to connect the DC load to the output because this board is non-isolated and if I connect this directly to the output it would probably kill my DC load uh, so I have run this board for around 15 to 20 minutes continuously and the output voltage is around 11 volts and this tolerance to 12 is because of the tolerance of the feedback resistors and I have used 5% tolerance resistors for the feedback if you want to know how you can calculate the exact values for the feedback resistors just follow the article I have explained how you can calculate the feedback resistors and use 1% resistor for the feedback and uh, set your output voltage exactly on 12 or whatever other voltage you like let me measure the temperature now I'm not sure if you can see the screen so it says the hottest spot is on the switching uh, regulator or the buck converter regulator uh, buck converter chip around 51 or 52 degrees and the room temperature is around 28 degrees okay so 51 52 51 or 52 degrees is nothing for this board that it runs at the maximum current 
Uh, so it shows that you can use this board continuously without any heat sink. So just use it as it is. You don't need any. You don't need to mount any heat sink on the controller. Uh, so pretty much that's it. I hope you like this video. Give me a big thumbs up. We will do something else in the next video.